нам подзвонила наша знайома і сказала, що почалась війна. When Russia attacked Ukraine on the 24th of February 2022, the European Parliament and the EU immediately condemned the aggression. Europe took action to support Ukraine. Ми розуміли, що лишатися в Києві дуже небезпечно. As Russia's aggression grew bolder and the destruction increased, Parliament backed round after round of economic sanctions on Putin and his enablers. 27 годин ми їхали, не зупиняючись, не спали, не їли нічого. When millions of people fled the rockets and shells, Europeans opened their doors and the EU granted refugees unprecedented protection. Звичайно, ми відчуваємо велику вдячність всій Європі, які організувались на початку війни і прийняли надзвичайно велику кількість українських біженців. Польща дуже багато допомагає, як і одягом, харчуванням, медикаментами. Вони не просто привозять якби, допомогу, а вони завжди запитують. As Russia plunged Ukraine into darkness by attacking power supplies and civilian infrastructure, as winter began to bite, Parliament sent generators of hope. I feel for my friends who have been left in Ukraine, because they are waiting for a new attack. And there are a lot of problems with the light, with the food. When Russia committed war crimes, Parliament declared it a state sponsor of terrorism. When Ukraine's economy buckled, Parliament backed suspending import duties and voted for 18 billion euros of support for Ukraine in 2023. As Ukrainians fought for their freedom and democracy, Parliament called for more weapons and assistance for the country's military. When Russia tried to isolate Ukraine, Parliament backed granting it EU candidate status, paving the way to join the European Union. Ukraine's future is in the European Union. Slava Ukraini! I think that the Ukrainians are a European country and our mentality is not very different. Slava Ukraini! We were with you then, we are with you now, we will be with you for as long as it takes.